First on 11 at 11, Adam Jones under fire. Damaging new video captured the first moments after being arrested earlier this month. And tonight, a flurry of statements released apologizing for his behavior. Good evening. Within the last hour, we heard from the Cincinnati Bengals on Adam Jones's arrest. It stems from this video that is taken inside a Cincinnati police cruiser. The majority of that video can't be played due to the vulgarities. However, in this portion, Jones is asking about his arrest. So what's my charge right now? <laughs> so you telling me, I, I, it's all on camera. You you locked me up because I didn't want to cooperate, right? No, I locked you up because you were kicking and and acting ridiculous. Bro, I didn't kick you or not one time. All right, well, cool. It's the cameras out there. I ain't worried about that. He said he locked me up because... You locked me up because what? What you locked me up because? Why just tell me why you locked me up? In an unprecedented move tonight, the Cincinnati Bengals sent us this statement within the last hour regarding Adam Jones. It says we are extremely disappointed with Adam's behavior. The behavior in the video is not what we expect from our players. The club is aware that Adam has put forth his own apology. However, we also offer an apology to the public and to our loyal fans. Nine on your side did attempt to talk to Adam Jones tonight, but instead, as you just heard, his attorney did send us a statement. It reads in part, Adam Jones is deeply embarrassed and remorseful for his conduct and language after being arrested in early January. Mr. Jones has the utmost respect for law enforcement and the difficulties police encounter on a daily basis. It goes on to say, Adam loves Cincinnati. He considers it home and he sincerely apologizes to the officers, the Cincinnati Bengals organization and all the fans in Cincinnati. The statement also said Jones is committed to counseling and anger management. He was taken into custody after allegedly pushing and poking a security guard in the eye at the Millennium Hotel. This all happened back on January 3rd. Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters has until next month to decide if he will bring additional charges against Jones. Dieters tells us he's waiting to see how the National Football League will discipline Jones. And you can read the full statements and see the entire unedited and uncensored video right now on WCPO.com.